question 13. So we've got to find an equation of the line that is parallel to this first line L and passes through a specific point. So if it's parallel, it's going to have the same gradient as L. So a good starting point is to work out the gradient of L. So the gradient is Y step divided by X step. So it's my, if I take away the Y coordinate, 9 minus 3 as the numerator and the denominator is going to be 6 minus minus 2 as the uh, denominator. 9 minus 3 is 6, 6 minus minus 2 is 6 plus 2 which is 8 simplifying to 3 quarters. So I know the gradient of my parallel line, the one I've got to find an equation for, is 3 quarters. So I know both the gradient and a point on the line so I can use the formula y minus y1 equals mx minus x1 where x1, y1 is any point on the line, 5 minus 1 and m is the gradient that I've just worked out to be 3 quarters. So y minus minus 1 equals 3 quarters x minus 5. So just tidying up the left hand side, y plus 1 equals 3 quarters x minus 5. Now because I've got to give my an answer in this integer whole, num whole number format, it makes sense to undo this dividing by 4 at the moment, so basically get rid of the 3 quarters. So multiplying both sides by 4 I get four lots of my left hand side, four times y is four, four times sorry, four times y is four y, four times one is four. And then on the right hand side that's undoing the dividing by four but leaving the three. So three lots of x minus five. I've then gone and multiplied out the bracket on the right, three x minus fifteen, and then I've gone and uh what have I done? Yes, then because I've got to give it in this format. I need my x's and y's together and the uh, integer on its own. So I've just taken my, um, uh, I've added 15 to both sides and taken away 4y, giving me 3x minus 4y equals 19. Now from that point, going back at that stage, of course I could have just done the claw and multiplied out, but I would have had to later do some times in by 4 to get rid of all my fractions. Either way, that's the final answer.